Greetings, fellow tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Elden Ring. As you can see, I have changed up my appearance just a tad. We now have the Banished Knight Helmet, which I farmed off of the guys at the Second Church of Dragon Communion. I also did a bit of farming, increased my stats a little bit, got myself a little bit more endurance, so that I can actually wear this armor without fat rolling. Though, I'll admit, I do need a rune arc active in order to do this, so... It's, uh... Sacrifices must be made. But let's actually look at this um, item description, just to see if there's anything else I haven't actually looked myself yet. The Banished Knight Helmet. Where is it? Right here. Thick full set of armor covering the entire body. The helm was worn by knights who, whether by misfortune or misdeed, were forced to abandon their homes. Perhaps the deep red scarf was used to block the winds. Or on the outskirts, the winds bite with stinging fierceness. Yeah, maybe. Interesting that it doesn't mention it here, but what else do we know about red scarfs? The Crimson Hood. Such cloaks were gifted to those who departed on journeys without specific orders, to faraway lands from which they would never return. In other words, the gift of a cloak made it easier for undesirables to be on their way. Worn by expatriated royalty. Does this imply... I mean, red, red hoods are a sign of banishment. And I feel like that has been a constant... Mm, no, maybe not. So I'm, I'm trying to think. Like, we have... Oh. Is there a boss here? I don't remember there being a boss here. Did I even see this boss? I'll finish my thought. I was um, remembering, of course, Slave Knight Gale from um, the Ring City. Also known as the Red Hood. But I guess he wasn't really banished. Um, first, he was the Slave Knight. Um, which in and of itself isn't all that unusual of a concept. Such basically have existed throughout history, um, you know, maybe taking the term knight a little bit usely, uh, loosely, but like the Mamelukes, the Janissaries, um, you know, units like that throughout history, um, kind of a status of knighthood, but not, not, not entirely, like they were well, res well respected within the societies they served in, but anyways, anyways, I digress, um, it's just interesting that it's also a red hood symbolizing banishment here, once again. But I like this design. It actually works really well with the clean wrought armor, so I'm very happy with it. Uh, but let's go in here and see what the hell this boss is. This forgotten warrior. Oh, it's one of you guys again. Okay. I'll fight you. Oh, you're taking a lot of damage from me. You probably also do a lot of damage. Yeah, you do a re respectable amount of damage. Let's, let me switch to this. Yeah, let's not get Latena killed. No, 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 no. God damn it. Every time. Okay, she's about to die. Still going. Oh, oh, and a Crucible Knight. This is a double boss fight. We need to be aware of something behind us, because I'm sure it's about to show up and kill me. I don't know where he is yet, but let's get this guy first. All right, nice. So, he's down. Um, you just killed Latena. That makes me sad, so now I have to fight you alone. That's fine. I fought a few of you alone. I think I can do it again. Gotta be uh, mindful of their absurd reach. What is a Crucible Knight doing here? We're not gonna be able to get a chance to cast. Oh, actually, I probably had a chance right there. Nope. Mistake. I I'm not gonna be able to... Well, let's try it. Hurry! Yes! We landed one, but was it worth it? No. <laughs> So, we're switching back to just the spear. I don't want to die, because then I have to chug another rune arc just so that I don't fat roll. So, I'm going to do what I can to not die here, obviously. I mean... But nice start to the episode. Immediate boss fight. Getting a little bit of stuttering, which I'm not a fan of. Ham! Oh, I thought I was out of range. I, that was my bad. <laughs> I should have not thought that I was out of range. <laughs> By any stretch of this word. Um, okay. Okay, I need, uh, okay, let's chuck an oil pot on you. I think that worked. Is there a holy pot, too? God damn. Like, their reach is absurd. Mine is not. Okay. 
We're, we're in, not sudden death, but, well, now we're in sudden death. Let's, uh, chug. There we go. Now we're good. What are you doing? You're doing that. I rolled early. <laughs> All right, I may die. That's fine. Um, yeah. I still don't have their timing down. Principal Knights are hard. And that is fine. Well, they should be. We're very close to death, yeah. It's just so hard to get space to heal. I mean, admittedly I could have tried harder there, but... Uh-oh. Nice! I actually avoided it this time. I thought I rolled early again, but... Ah, oh, God! Excuse me? Uh, I don't know. I was definitely spamming the roll button there, so... Okay, I mean, ultimately not a not a big difference from how it would have gone. I think I probably would have died there anyways. Even had I rolled at that moment. So, uh, that is unfortunate, because now I have to chug another rune arc. It's okay, we got a few. Um, so, other things that I could do before we get started here. Um, do have anything that boosts, yeah, physical damage negation? Let's go. And, um, I'm gonna chug an exalted flesh as well. Let's, let's go in buffed, huh? And, uh, let's drop Latena right here. I don't need to worry about my runes. I didn't have many. Okay. Nice. Hey. At least we got his attention. This is a misbegotten. Interesting. I guess the misbegotten are, like... More bestial than the omens? My god. It is very difficult to get space. Oh shit, the Crucible Knight's going for her. She'll be dead in a second. That That's allowed to happen. Yo, you, with the face. Over here. Leave her alone. God damn it. Right here, jerk. Okay, she's dead. But we were able to get some uh, madness off. Right, um, yeah, no. I will switch to that. Nope. Nope. Let's actually prop this. God damn it, every time. That that thrusting attack is just absurd. Like, <laughs> when, when, when he lunges with it. I think, you know what? I think I know what I need to do with these. I just had significantly more luck there. I mean, okay, I'm still getting hit every now and then, but yeah, by that. Okay. See, now, now is when I'm in trouble, because now is when he can do that. Oh, God. Okay, heal properly. Okay, this is fine. Good. Then we just need to stay close, be mindful of the tail, like... Not sure why that um, is out that fast. Okay, no. You can roll forward into it, but that creates a lot of... Sp okay, double tail swipe, right? Forgot about that. Need to heal. I got the opportunity. I don't want to. I don't want to die again. Come here. Wait, what? do it like this. Are you kidding me? Wow. Nice timing. Okay, you're very vulnerable when doing that, unfortunately. God damn it. That thrust. Okay, we're in sudden death mode here. I cannot afford to take any more hits. Say as we take a hit. That tail swipe, man. That gets me every time. Don't panic. Roll. Oh, God. I, yeah. It comes out so fast. Like, the moment you're committed to an attack, it just, it comes out, and that's that. Um, I'm going to change course of action. I'm not going to use Latena here. She dies a little bit too easily. Um... 
Yeah, very sorry. What I could do... No, I don't have enough FP. Even with the rune arc, I don't have enough FP for these guys. And in, in any case, I haven't leveled them up, so... Um, what have I leveled up? I mean, there's the Skeleton Militia. I've also leveled up the Putrid Corpses, which are basically just going to tank. Um, True Death does not come easily for them. I'm going to try them out. I don't know if they're going to be any good. But I've leveled them up just because I kind of like the idea of having a super tanky Spirit Summon, and they're quite cheap. So, let's go with that. And we can, uh... Not good. I I don't get wh what's happening. Where? Excuse me. What? They summoned over there. What is this bullshit? Sorry. That's a uh, that's a uh, great. Now nah, yeah. No. This is uh going very well. Okay, this is... That was a waste of a rune arc. And sorry, but why did they summon over there? They summoned in the far corner of the fucking room! That's... Is this costing me rune arcs? And other important reagents. Um, I feel like trying them out with less on the line then. Not happy with these. Not happy that I wasted a bunch of stuff. Hopefully it's just a one-time bug. Hopefully if I use them again, it'll be fine. But, or maybe it's this place that's causing this issue. I, I don't, I don't honestly know. But let's go. We'll summon the militia this time. Hopefully they won't summon on the far side of the goddamn room. No, oh, there's someone right here. That's good. No, no. Ah, wrong ability. Why is this even activated here? Nice damage. Not nice damage taken. Oh my god. Wow! Oh my god, this is uh, an expensive fight. Crucible Knight and a Misbegotten Warrior. I mean, I could say something about just mashing two bosses together for the sake of putting in a new boss fight, which feels very lazy. Um, however, at least there is the narrative tie-in between, you know, the Crucible and the Misbegotten and all that type of stuff, so... I won't, I won't complain about it. Not here. Okay, um, last boiled prawn, unfortunately. And I don't think I can make more of those. I have to buy them from the boiled prawn guy. I should... possibly... I should possibly be, um... doing something that I forgot. Okay. We need to just gank this guy, basically. Just don't let him do anything. Okay. Okay. I don't want to be stuck in a corner with you at all. He needs to die before the Crucible Knight even gets here. There we go. Perfect. All right. Crucible Knight's on his way, but I have friends this time. Friends that can survive. Providing I survive. Yeah, you, you attract their attention, because this is going to give me a healing window. That's basically what's going on here. Don't attack them. Not while they're down. Right here, right here. Come here. Good. Okay. Nice. That was a long attack chain. Oh, man. Oh, he didn't need to heal there, but it's okay. Pull away, pull away, come here. Get away from my, uh, get away from my homeboys. We must protect the skeletons at all cost. Okay. Woo! 
nice. Okay, not nice. Not nice either. Dodge. <laughs> okay. Okay, don't like that. Don't, yeah, I mean, he doesn't stagger, and that's fine. He's, uh, he's incredibly heavily armored. I don't know, can you even break their poise? I, I don't I feel like you can't. Yes. <laughs> the answer to that question is you can. <laughs> Did it at that exact moment. So it was pretty clutch, because otherwise he would have tail swiped me. Um, but I think we got this. Skeletons, definitely the right option here. Okay, never mind. Let's not be foolish and die at the last second. That would be embarrassing. Oh god. Dodge. Okay, we're going in. Here, have a spear. Woo! Alright. Okay, not too bad once we actually, like, approach it in a more tactical manner. Okay, Ruin's Greatsword, huh? I can already tell by the hilt of it that I won't like the design, but let's get the lore on it anyways. Yeah, not, not a fan of colossal weapons. In general. Original rubble from a ruin which fell from the sky. Yeah, what about this ruins that fell from the sky? We, we haven't really gotten more on these guys. Uh, this surviving fragment was honed into a weapon, one of the legendary armaments. The ruin it came from crumbled when struck by a meteorite. As such, this weapon harbors its destructive power. The ruin it came from... Oh. Was the... The ruins in the sky, were they broken by, like, meteoric impacts? I get the sense that... Because we've, we've read about all this stuff with the... Floating fruits. Okay. Um, we've read about all this stuff with Radon. And the, this festival, the Sky Festival, and how he held back the stars. We have now seen two of these falling star beasts, or whatever they're called. One of them was definitely called a falling star beast. Um, something like that. The other one didn't have a name, but it ver looked very similar. There's evidence of meteorites crashing down in places. We have the Onyx Lords and we have the Alabaster Lords. The Alabaster Lords seem to be benevolent towards the inhabitants of this world. The Onyx Lords seem to be malevolent. Though... I don't really have much to base that off of. My question is, is this world being, like, invaded by something from the stars? Is that what's going on here, and is Radon holding it off? This begs the question, should I be killing Radon? <laughs> the fuck is that? I guess it's just a weird-looking castle tower. W where is that? Surely that's not up here. No, it's gotta be... That's gotta be this. Interesting. That or something even farther, maybe. Yeah, that's behind the Erd tree. Because... This, up here, right up in front here, is that section of, um... Not Aeonia, but... Kaelid, I should say. Okay, so we've gotten this. Now, I duly wonder whether or not I've missed something in this area. What the fuck is going on here? First off, this this makes me... This makes me upset. You know what else makes me upset? The fact that I can't attack. What do we got here? Lumber Smithing Stone 5. That is handy. I need one of those. Anything behind here? No. I can't attack here. Fine. I'll do this manually. It's these? No. This this is not allowed. A certain somebody who, you know, one day she might get to this episode this far into the series. Does not permit the survival of chairs, so... I need to, I need to do it for her. Hmm. Crazy, um, level of visibility. Did we fight that troll? I feel like we're missing something in Red Main Castle, but I'm gonna do what's up here, not to, just so that I don't break the continuity. What I'm, hello. Who are you? Uh... 
Uh, we were just talking about you, mate. Slave Knight Gale? Is that you? What are you doing here? You run out of uh, souls to gather in the Dark Souls universe, so you've come here. You, you've 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 increased your fashion sense. Oh, tarnished are you? How did you slip inside with the gate closed? Well, I killed everyone. No matter. If you can fell one of them, you're a champion in my book. Oh, are you, Jaren? Yeah. Foolish old warrior and witness. Incidentally. Do you like a good festival from time to time? Well, it's true. This fortress houses only the vanquished. But when the stars align, Banquets. we celebrate. A war festival honoring the last battle and death of General Radan. Oh, he's already dead? The mightiest demigod of the Shattering and bearer of a great rune. Yeah. I do love a good festival. Well. Good. As you should. The festival affords glory to warriors. Then all you need is a little patience. When the stars align, the festival will be declared. When the stars align? About E.G. Oh, you, what do you mean? You know E.G.? Was there a dialogue that I'm forgetting? Between E.G. Uh... Well, I haven't heard that name in an age. Then you must serve Princess Rani. The next time you speak to E.G., tell him this. The Festival of Radan will surely set Rani's fate back into motion. Uh, bye, bye Is that old fool still hammering out weapons? He is, as a matter of fact. His enormous frame cramped in that little place. Bit of a haughty sort. Strange fella when I knew him. And funny thing, his swords... Were all blunt as stone. Yeah, but when you're that big. And one of them decayed when faced with a scarlet yeah. mm -hmm. That's that's uh that's an interesting tidbit. Have patience, mm -hmm. When the stars align, the festival will be declared. So we need to make the stars align, huh? How do we do that? Can we do that? Or do do we legit just need to wait? Or does something else need to happen? There's more to be done out there. I wonder if this is going to be the connection to this place out here. It'd be kind of cool. But okay. Um, all right, Jaren. Interesting. I was expecting uh, to have to like fight him, but as it turns out, he is quite sane. What's what's going on? Ah, I see. It's it's this issue. You done? Game? That was weird. It literally just stopped me in my tracks. That's uh, never happened as a... Uh... I'm gonna double check the recording. Yeah, it's all, all still going. That's good. <laughs> never be too certain. Game is a little finicky. My desktop is also a little finicky. But let's definitely continue having a look around this area, because I feel like I abruptly stopped my exploration of it because I was desperately searching for a site of grace. So let's murder all of these people. You're, you're getting roasted by your own men. Okay, now I'm getting roasted by your men. Well, well played, well played, you got me. Convince me that you were a traitor and then... Well, it was all a necessary sacrifice, I guess. Um, so, like, did we go that way? It's a problem. I haven't played in a couple of days, so... Hi! You were gonna throw a bomb at me, and that I do not appreciate, so now you have to die. Okay. Well, well, well played. Here, have some death. God, it's cool! Alright, confirmed we have not been this way. I generally speaking don't leave items out in the open sitting around. That is usually a good indicator of where and where I have not been, but it doesn't seem like there's anything else up here other than the rank 4 smithing stone, which is admittedly a reasonable enough prize in and of itself. Uh, so there's a portal entrance over there, and then is there any platforming to be done? 
I hope not. I don't think so. Okay, that's that way. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna wait for Nightfall. I'm gonna see if that has any effect. Because, I mean, the stars would obviously only be out during the night. So maybe that's when they hold their festival. We also know that we were supposed to meet Alexander here. But we haven't found him. Makes me wonder if he's actually somewhere in the castle or if there's going to be like an event where we summon him. Go on, this old geezer has. Okay. So I need to do something else. I'm confused though, because there's. To my knowledge. And I could be wrong. I would say comment, tell me if I'm missing something. Don't spoil anything, obviously. Um. But chances are I won't be able to act on that because I'll be quite a few episodes ahead again, which is, you know, a disadvantage to how I'm recording this, but it's also proving to be quite useful because I will be leaving for a week and I will have enough episodes to actually continue going through that entire week. So, yeah. Um, I don't want to search through this entire area on camera. We were gonna look at the red, uh, the whetstone. Hold on, let me let me finish this guy, and then we'll go look at that. And then I'm gonna search off camera until I find something interesting. I think that'll be good. But let's look at this uh, whetstone because it should add a type of affinity to our ashes of war. Not that we can use them on our weapons, but again, I do plan on having one weapon in my repertoire, not constantly equipped. Obviously, uh, but one weapon in my repertoire that will um, actually use those. We also have the imbued sword case, um, which will unlock the other two gates in the four belfries, which I will do, don't you worry. Red hot wet blade with a cipher engraved can be used as a whetstone knife. When applying an affinity using physical or flame type ashes of war, an additional affinity of fire or flame art. What is fire and flame is different? Interesting, the ciphers engraved here. Wonder if that has any relation to the cipher pata. Let's let's look here. The weapon that I'm using, the other weapon that I'm using, my offhand, the literal zero weight offhand weapon, or like backup weapons. A formless sequence of ciphers comprise its blade. Yeah. Um, the furtive inscription appears to hang in the air. The language of light spoken by the two fingers. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's still interesting. Alright. I've done I've done all that, so I tell you what, I am going to clear this place again probably, uh, on my own time, and I'll report back if I find anything. Otherwise you'll see me somewhere else. Alright, so I just killed one of the uh jerk crossbow guys. We actually dropped a bow. So we're gonna look at what that bow is. He dropped a red branch bow, I believe, is what it was called. Yeah, right here. Look at that. Short bow of polished red wood, fastered by a master craftsman, and wielded by pages. Is that what they're called? A bow which requires dexterity rather than strength to master. Also has barrage, so it's one of these guys. Remember the ones with the automatic uh, crossbows. And I will note, there's still the matter of the... what sounds like a scarab somewhere. Hello. Oh, okay, you're dead. Yeah, so there, there's got to be a scarab somewhere, and there is still the troll up on top, which I don't think I've faced the troll. So, I'm going to keep looking around. Alright, so, we're back at uh, Dragon Barrow West. I searched all around Redmain Castle. Couldn't find any more secrets. I also... Couldn't activate the Star Festival, so I think it probably requires some sort of story activation, um, which means we should probably progress certain elements of the story. Now, I don't want to go to Altus just yet, because I feel like there's more to do out and around. 
um, particularly with the subterranean segments. So we know that D has a brother who is... I can't remember if he was buried or... He's somewhere on an aqueduct in... Is it the Siafra River? Or is it Nokron? We also need to talk to Blythe to do more in Nokron. And, um... Yeah, so I'm going to do all of that first before I go to the Altus Plateau. Now, for now, I'm going to advance into Dragon Barrow. And, yes, this is the hard part of Caleb, but we're just going to tough it out and deal with it. All right. I can always bypass enemies. <laughs> I don't need to fight them. There are a lot of them, though. Like, these dragons... You know, if it's one, I can take it fairly reasonably, so... Like, this little bastard here... Okay, so he's not... He's not little. Little is... Little isn't quite the right word to describe him. He's smaller than a regular dragon, for sure. But I'm confident we can kill him. Where do we stay? Oh, 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 he has... He has fallen! Yes, good, good Anakin, good. Straight in the eye socket. Oh yeah, you didn't like that. That still didn't do very much, but you know what? I'll take it. That time I was actually able to get off my uh, horse yak thing in time and hit him in his critical point. Normally, normally it's, uh, it's a little bit hard to aim that right. Wow, these guys are like super staggerable. I'm just doing basic attacks, too. Not even power attacking here. So either these enemies are quite easy, or... Let's stay mounted. <laughs> Being mounted, you just have passive mobility. Uh-oh. I don't like that. Let's heal. Also, okay. That, that could have been bad, probably. Because... <laughs> the reason why I like the mounted combat so much is because I can attack while moving. And simply moving is able to avoid a lot of these large monster attacks. So I don't need to be dodging, because when you're dodging, you can't attack. It, it's really like, the, the mounted combat is super useful. Like, yeah, it's got its issues. But overall, I, I think it's great. It's a great addition. So this is back to Celia, right? Hold on. Yeah, we went up there, right? That's the... That's the church, and that's the gatehouse. Okay, all right. But we're gonna come up to this little uh, castle area up here. We'll see what's up here. Maybe it's horrible. Maybe I'm gonna get up here and be like, mm, no, this is this is terrible. What the fuck am I looking at? Dear Lord. Okay, very very souls esque. The actual like full grown, proper dragons are. Bloody enormous. Oh no, it's alive? Are you joking? I... It... Uh. Oh! What's this madness? No, guys. Oh, I didn't even see you. You're a red eye, but you're injured. Why are you injured? What's wrong with you? Ow! That was, uh, that was painful. Here, have some raisins. What's, what's your deal? Why, why are you red-eyed? That wasn't what I wanted. Okay, I'm doing it again. This is interesting. I switched weapons, apparently. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. More raisins. More raisins is good. Are you gonna breathe fire? No. I don't think they can. I just get that feeling. That's a bite. Pull away, pull away! Never mind, it was not a bite. I thought it was a bite. These guys are a little tricky. Okay. He's gonna stomp again? Okay, that's fine. I'll keep whacking you. Are you gonna fall over at any point? That'd be nice. Uh-oh. Avoid, 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 avoid. You're gonna drop down real fast. Good. Down he goes. Dismount. Get here. Can I... Ah, something in the way. That's fine. We got him. Straight in the eye socket. This is rather unhealthy to have a burning spear thrust into there, so... Not too bad. I see you have friends. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not, not there. Not there. I'll deal with you. 
Then we're gonna go deal with this big fucker. Nope. Ooh, that was a one-hit kill. Nope. None of that, please. Thank you. Look at the size of that one. Like, it's wing. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. Get up. Get up now. Heal. It, uh, it's one-shotting my horse. Walked into that. My fault. <laughs> Why is this one giving me so much more trouble? No, pull away. It's gonna do something. Never mind. Could have could have exploited there. It's all it's all good. Okay. Dodge. Get out of here. Okay. All good. Like mostly, aside from if I like do something foolish. I think I have the hands, or I think I have the hang of, uh, hang? Hand? Uh, I don't know. Got the something of these guys. They're not too bad. They, they hit incredibly hard, which is fine. They're, they're large. They're dragons. They should hit hard. So, oh, oh, oh. You, uh, need to be executed. I'm just gonna do it like that. I don't need to... Now, I would like to get a, a checkpoint before I go and even... I don't know, look at this one. D dear fucking lord. Okay. He's a... He's a big boy. What do they feed these things? I'll check if I'm recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always paranoid. Healthy paranoia. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah, I don't really know what we're supposed to do with that whole area. Oh. Where are you? Excuse me? Are you a person? No, you're an enemy. But what are you? Is it one of the bats? I think it's one of the bats. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Fuck, it's like eight million times as tough as the other ones. Oh shit, it has friends. Let's get out of here, I don't want to fight it on this, uh, ledge. <laughs> That's a recipe for disaster. I'll fight you up here, though. You gonna... you gonna come up here, though? Here, I'll offer some incentive. Uh, let's kill that one first. Watch the bats be super tough, too. Mm, maybe not. That one's dead. I mean, if you're just gonna stay down there, why, why is it so... I mean, I get why it's so hard to kill. Oh, you're, you're new, actually. Alright, this is fine. This is actually fine that this one's a lot tougher, because this one actually has a different model to the wool... You know, you know, unlike the, the wolves and the birds here, which are fucking much tougher with no explanation given and no new model, this bat thing looks different. So, it being tougher is 100% okay. This is how it should be. It should be some sort of visual distinction that you're not fighting the same enemy that you've been fighting before. You know, come down here. I don't want to fight you over that ledge. Here, come over this way. Ow. Rude. It... it doesn't want to. It just is like, nah, I'm gonna stay near the ledge precariously. Look, I can play range battle too, right? I have madness lasers coming out of my brain. There we go. He's here. She, I don't know what it is. It's a bat. Down it goes. Ow! That still hit me! <laughs> Die, die, die. Thank you. What kind of... A lot of XP. Holy crap. Let me guess. You drop a thick rune. Yep. You do. Um, can we get in here? I want to be out of here. I want to be out of this horrible place. Sight of grace. Dear lord. Ain't that nice. Alright. Let's level up, because I have, you know, a small amount of runes. I'm gonna... 
Basically, I'm leveling up my um, endurance as of now. That is what I'm doing with my uh, runes. Because I need to be able to wear this armor without having to use a rune arc. Okay, we've got some jars. I think they're... Oh. Oh. It's another Erd tree. Oh. Oh. And there is a spirit spring, so we can actually drop down on this one into this minor Erd tree. This is... Oh, this is totally the one we went to. Right? No, it's not. This is a different one. It's also very similar, though. Is there an Erd tree avatar? I bet there is. Why are there so many jars around the Erd trees? I wonder if we're ever going to get an explanation for that. But I'm going to do that in the next episode. This episode, I still have a bit of time. If we, you know, it's going to be a longer episode, it's going to be a longer episode. But this fucking thing. Like. It's half buried. Okay. Zero out of ten, literally unplayable. I cannot climb onto this dragon. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to kill this thing? I, I legit think this is too big to to injure. What if I poke it? Maybe... Can one talk to it? What's that? Who's doing that? Better not be you. No, it's not you. It's one of your pals. Question is... Yeah, your pals seem to respawn. That was, uh... <laughs> That timing. That still hurts. Okay, row of raisins. I need to make more of those. And I also need a place where I can get row of fruit, because that is not very easily findable here. I may need to actually grind for row of fruit. Holy shit. Farm it, I should say. Not grind. Down he goes. Dismount. Surprised that doesn't damage you. Head falling on you. Okay. A shame. Big shame. Fell in the exact place that I couldn't hit it. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused why that didn't damage me, considering it seemed like it hit me rather than than Horseyak thing. But you know, it's fine. Oh my god, that hit me. That hit me alright. My lord. Alright. These guys are very good. It's not fighting back. Is it just dead? Like, is this thing dying? What am I supposed to do with it? Am I supposed to attack it? Like, it's being guarded by a lot of little babies. I legit think I could wail on this for, like, a week. <laughs> and accomplish nothing. I don't want to fight the- oh god, there's three of them here? Screw that, I'm not doing that. I'm going up this way. <laughs> I'm going into this castle. Fuck okay. it. Um, or actually, I'll loop around the other way and see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, you look like a dragon for a second. I'm sure Frumsoft deliberately crafted those trees to look like dragons just to fuck with you. But aha, uh -huh. there's a way down. Uh, well, I say that, but I feel like if I drop down here, I will die. Yeah, I mean, there's a way down along the Spirit Spring. That much is true. What are you? I haven't seen that before. Uh, oh, they're the Guardians. Fuck! Okay, well, we're down here now. Oh, hi. It's you guys. Let's not get caught out by them. They actually do a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, Jesus, there's like 3,000 of them here. How much damage do we do to them? Three hits? Acceptable. Alright, well, this is what we're doing. I 
fell down. Fate has decided. Yeah, th these aren't too bad. Four hits sometimes. What is bad is when there's like 20 of them attacking us simultaneously. By 20, I mean two. Uh, <laughs> a little bit more than two now. All right. All right. Uh, let's, let's go over this way. Kellas Lilies, is there... What's... Oh, I need that. I actually need this. Excuse me? Y you fight back? I mean, it makes sense. You're big. I'll go down there. God damn it. Well, now what? What's down there? I am just getting lost here. There's a lot of levels in this place! Oh god. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We made it. Now we're down. I mean, what's your deal? What are you guarding? There's gotta be something down here. Fine, we'll kill this one. Okay, we hit we hit the, the dragon well. Full full blown power attack there. We just stay right under it. We should be okay. Um, unfortunately, this one again is in a lovely position where it's basically like okay. That was painful. I feel like I might die. Let's heal and uh, use our last potion. I think we can still do this. Just really hoping there's like a dungeon with a sight of grace at the start of it. Or something. No, stay, stay. Damn it. That, that still manages to like hit every time. And I, I can't heal anymore. I can't heal it. It's strange that that's an instant kill. I feel like that might be. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna drop down. It's fine. They're fairly predictable. Mm, they still do a lot of damage. Mind you. And if I could get like a... proper attack angle on it, that'd be great. Oh, he's gonna get up. Okay, that's fine. Drop down, come on. A couple more hits. No, don't do that! Oh god, we're, we're very close to dead, but so is it. This is... We're in, like, sudden death. As close as it can be. There we go, we got it. <laughs> um, alright, we have some items that we can use. I will use that. And this. Alright, perfect. I Actually, I don't think we need um, to use the boluses, because it does give poison buildup, but it's not, like, fully poisoned. It's actually a really good item, the raw meat dumplings. And we have ourselves a Sight of Grace. Which I completely bypassed. So we have unlocked a few of these here. Which is cool. What is that? What are those? Bears? What the hell are bears doing here? Okay. Let's heal up, and I think this is where I'm going to call today's episode. Uh, we're, we're a bit in the thick of it now. There's just, like, everywhere we go, it's it's dragons or more dragons. Or other things that are also intimidating. There's a path that leads under this bridge. Cool, 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 cool. But there is stuff to do here. Um, I feel it's not too hard, it's just very high risk. Um, high risk, hopefully high reward, but we'll see. Leave it a like if you have indeed enjoyed it. Uh, the next episode will hopefully be coming out tomorrow. Um, again, I will be going on a week-long vacation, so if there is a, uh, a gap between episodes, that is why. Fear not, I haven't stopped the series or anything. Uh, I'm gonna try and make sure I have enough episodes recorded and processed and put into YouTube to make sure that there's one coming out every day. But, uh, we'll see if my math for how much time I need to do that before I leave pans out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Alright, guys. I'll catch you all later. Ash Arrator out.